Hello again, and welcome to another exciting episode of Troglodytes Picking a Fight. In this episode, I plan on facing the Goblin Invasion. I also plan on getting the Arms Trader, so we got some things to do. Next episode, we're probably going to fight the Eater of Worlds, which will be an interesting fight, but uh, I think we can handle it. We could probably handle it now, but I wanted to get a couple more accessories and just uh, clean up my life a little. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean. So we're going to go back to the base. And uh, I'm going to talk about this stuff in a second. But if you look here, my accessories are jacked. Now, part of the problem is I like to save and hoard everything. So I have at least two of everything. It's now starting to spill over into other chests. And uh, this needs to be addressed. So I would like to find the Goblin Tinkerer, and to do that, I have to do the Goblin Invasion. Now, the ordinary way that you would do this is you would go to the Corruption, or the Crimson, if that's what's in your world, and you would break an orb, and there's a certain odds, there's a certain percentage chance that every new day you will get a Goblin Invasion after you've done that. I don't want to wait around for that kind of thing, so what we're going to do is craft a Goblin Battle Standard, which is basically the summoning item for the event. Now, all you have to do to prepare for this is to get at least 200 health. It's one of the conditions. We have 400. There's nothing else we should have to do. I should be able to create the Battle Standard right now, and then we can start the invasion. But, uh, ordinarily, you do break the orb, so I think it would be better to go about it that way, at least on the surface. We're still going to create the uh, battle standard, probably. But, uh, you know, I want to do it kind of, sort of, like the way you're supposed to do it. In the order of events. So I'm going to break a couple orbs. I'm going to get a gun. I'm going to get the arms trader. I'm going to buy a mega shark. We're going to do the battle standard. And then we're going to go hunt for the goblin. Before we do that, I want to mention a couple things that happened off camera. Now, while I was uh, in between episodes, I was doing a lot of fishing. And uh, I can actually show the progress of that right now. Look right here in this chest. I have a lot of wooden crates. 60, that's a lot. I've been trying to get these Oasis crates. Those are the crates that allow you to get the Bast statues. The ones that improve defense in the given area they've been placed. Uh, I only got one. <laughs> so I wanted to get a new fishing pole. And that's why I got the Demonite. But I'm kind of skipping ahead here. So I was doing some fishing. And a slime rain event started to happen. And I didn't want to fight the slimes. Because if I fight the slimes, I would get the king slime. And I'd rather not fight any bosses off camera if I can help it. It might be a different thing if later down the line we've fought king slime five or ten times. Then yeah, sure, I'll fight it off camera. Nothing new is going to happen. But there are lots of items I haven't gotten from the king slime. So I didn't want to fight it off camera. However, I realized I did need the purple slime banner uh, for my arena. I haven't got that yet. So I figured I'll just fight the purple slimes. And, uh, you know, once I complete, uh, once I kill enough of those guys, I'll get the purple slime banner. And then I'll just wait out the event. And, uh, yeah, that's all I need to do. Well, while I was doing that, the traveling guide came or the traveling merchant came and uh, he died. And when he gets killed, he drops his hat. I don't like it, but it's nice to collect things. So there's that. And apparently from just killing those purple slimes, I was able to get a slime staff. One of the rarest drops in this game. And it allows you to summon a little slime friend. Let me use some of my Shine and Night Owl potion. I put them in my inventory so I could stop having dark recordings. There I am. Look at that. So much better. But uh, I got my little slime friend. He's not that great. If you are facing an enemy on the ground, he'll like to hop over the enemy whenever you're walking near. So that's that's not ideal. But uh, I like him better than Mirabel because uh, she makes this horrible, distressing noise every time she starts attacking. And uh, I think that's worth avoiding, that noise. So we're going to pack up Mirabelle. She's going to go bye-bye in a chest where she doesn't fit. She doesn't fit in any chest because we have to take care of our accessory problem. I'll put this in here for now. I'll put the slime staff there. 
And uh, all that's left to talk about is the Demonite bars. While I was fishing, you could see that I only had the one Oasis crate and a thousand wooden crates. I think improving my fishing percentage chance would help. So I went down into the caverns and I mined a bit and I was able to collect enough Demonite bars to craft a new fishing pole. It only gives me 5% more fishing power, but at this point I'll take what I can get. So Fisher of Souls, got it, put that there. We'll get rid of the other fishing pole. Again, we're out of room in all of our storage. I'll just put it with the oars for now. This will get addressed. We're also running out of room for our armor. We're getting all these different armor sets. Got this from a fishing quest, the fish costume. Not going to wear it. I think you understand why. It's pretty goofy. And uh, I'm kind of a goofy guy, but I'm not that goofy. Okay. Let's get this episode started with a bang. Doing a fishing quest. Oh no! The angler's in here! That's right! He has new digs. Got a quest for me. Uh, corruption fish. Ooh, we could do it maybe. We're near the corruption. We're going to the corruption anyway. But it is 11.39 at night. I think we're going to pass this one up. Want to talk about these really quickly just because we're here. So I could add another chest and start collecting more of these quest fish. But what I think I'll do is just limit it to the one chest. All right. The corruption. I think I want to go from the other direction. No particular reason why. So we're going to go from this direction. We're going to find the corruption. We are going to get a couple orbs defeated. And then our arms trader is going to move into this house right here. And there is the purple banner that I got off camera. Very exciting. So glad I did it. Wish I had got the slime staff on camera, but it is what it is. There's no way of knowing which one of these pits is going to lead to the orbs. So it's going to be another case of trial and error. Doing a lot of trial and error. Ooh, my slime friend is helping a little bit. Let's try this one first. Nope. Not here to fight. I'm not here to fight. I'm here to adventure. This might be it. This might be it. Oh, it's it. Put a little light around the place. <gasps> I fell down here and died once. Oh, I didn't bounce. I think I remember that. Oh, shoot. Do I have any bombs on me? I was going to bring a bunch. Thought it would be more entertaining. I think uh, I don't need it. I think I can actually pick this stuff with the reaver shark. I can't. I can't pick this with the reaver shark. Oh, no. Let me light it up. I'm going to have to come back. Or maybe I don't. There's a lot of pots here. This thing is huge. I don't remember how big these usually end up being, but this just goes on forever. Okay. All right. So if I destroy all these pots, I might get some bombs. Also get some death weed too. Death weed's helpful. I haven't got one bomb yet. Oh, oh, get out of there. Wow. I didn't get one bomb, did I? That is kind of funny. Not funny, haha, -ha, just funny strange. All right, let's go back. Best laid plans of mice and troglodytes. Buy some dynamite. And I'm going to turn that into sticky dynamite. Okay. That is why I keep the gel on me. Just so that I can do that when I want to do it. Now those watching might be aware or they might not be aware. But if you break three orbs, you summon the Eater of Worlds. And I don't want to do that. We're going to do Eater of Worlds next episode. 
So I want to make sure I don't dynamite an area that might accidentally destroy three. We can destroy two. So I think we'll start with this guy right here. No, don't die. Horrible chill goes down your spine. And a superior musket goes in my inventory. This one's pretty good. Okay. And uh, I'll destroy this the old-fashioned way with a hammer. Because I can and I got another musket, two muskets. Oh, God. Two muskets? Ah, oh, that's just bad luck. Nothing else to really do here. I guess we could farm these guys a little bit for drops. We do have to wait for the arms trader to show up. It's 11.50. He probably won't show up until tomorrow morning. We can get some rotten chunks. Place the home down. Got a couple extra off camera. They are kind of fun to collect. Can also grab this demonite. Hey, he already arrived! Look at that! I guess we'll just go back. Jeez, alright. Howdy do. I already got the desert pile on, but thank you. Grab a mini shark. How much did I pay for that? I am completely awesome. That was quick. Uh, flintlock pistol. I don't want that. I do want the musket balls. Probably going to retire the frostburn arrows. Could get rid of the black scorpions. I'm not going to fish with these. But I can also combine the musket balls, I think, with some metal to make them a little bit better. Either the tungsten or the silver. I don't have a lot of silver, so I hope the tungsten will do. Alright, let's put that there. Put that back. And what the heck is this? Monster lasagna. What is that, with rotten chunks? Well, I still have lobster tails, and they're pretty tasty. In the last 10 minutes, so I don't need your darn monster lasagna. I think I saw the balls. Yeah, tungsten bullet, 9 range damage. Just out of curiosity, I want to see if the silver ones do better damage. Just toss that on the ground right there. Let's see, 9, 9. Okay, yeah, it's the same. So, tungsten it is. And I used about 20 bars doing that. That is okay. N, B, D. For now, let me put that there because that is hotkeyed. One, two, and then three. Battle standard is next. I'm going to grab my tattered cloth. I got wood in my inventory. You use a loom to make battle standards. And I can make two. So I might as well make two. It's night. We're going to wait until tomorrow morning to do it. Fishing quest? Caverns in underground, a bonefish. I got the bonefish. I got that. Not the fishy tron bonefish. There it is. Journeyman bait, gold, and another mine carp? Ah, oh, what a waste. Here, you want a mine carp? Here, have this. Thank you. Dream bait's good. Once these run out, I could always use this as backup. Hopefully, I start collecting the master bait a little bit quicker. Yeah, so let's skip ahead to tomorrow morning, and we will do the goblin invasion. Forgot to mention it earlier, but I did increase the size of the fishing area over here. I think it was fine, but I wanted to make sure it stayed fine. 
or at least I wanted to make sure that it wasn't a limiting factor, you know, because I had 275 blocks of fishing space, I would get 0.3% less good stuff. I didn't, I didn't want that to factor in. We are getting closer to day, so I'm going to get a couple of potions in case the goblin army spawns on its own. May or may not happen, but it'd be good to be prepared. Okay, and I think that's a good selection. Should be enough to last the entire fight. Fighting in the rain, ugh. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Ooh, it's, it's a bigger storm because it's got the music. Let's try our new weapon. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna waste all the bullets on zombies though. Not sure which is gonna be more helpful. With multiple enemies, obviously the, you know, jester arrows are gonna be pretty good. We'll just have to see. New day approaching. Okay, no goblin army. Not unexpected. I think the odds after you break one of the orbs is like one in, I wanna say three. But I might be thinking of a meteor strike. If the meteor strikes, we're not going to get that today. That, that is not the focus today. The focus today is uh, improving my accessory chests. And to do that, we need the goblin tinker. And uh, we don't need meteorite for that. Okay, I think we're kind of delaying. I think I'm kind of nervous. It's okay to be nervous. I will wait an extra minute or two just to see if the sun comes out. Still trying to get familiar with my key bindings. I used to use my middle mouse button press for my grapple. And I keep finding myself doing this because I switched my inventory to the middle button press. So if you see that, that's why. I will get used to it eventually if I stick with these key bindings long enough. Okay, 7 a.m. It did brighten up a little bit. Uh, sun is not out, but that's okay. Let's buff. And we'll do the battle standard. Strictly speaking, I should have probably waited for them to show up over here before I buffed. Because it does take them a minute or two. During which time all of these awesome potions are going to waste. But, you know. I'm sorry. Ooh, umbrella hat. Nice. Nice. And the sun is coming out a little bit more. Okay, that's good. I know it's approaching. Look at me. I'm dancing. I'm ready. I'm wasting my potions. Oh, goblin army cleared. Zero percent. It's here. Those are the ones that scare me, the archers. Seems like those are the ones that will wreck your day really quickly if you're not careful. Oh, God. All right. It's... Maybe the mini shark for those guys because they're a little tougher. So far, I think this arena is working great. Ow! It's nice to see our little slime fen trying to help. Ah! Oh, I saw it coming in slow motion and I didn't do anything! Oh my god, my fingers are all over the place. I have nervous dancing fingers. On the plus side, it's helping with my dashes, so yay. 
Yeah, this is improving too bad at all. And the Jester Arrows seem definitely better at clearing out large swaths of these enemies. Come on, fingers. Calm down. If you can help it, avoid getting an essential tremor. Because it just makes your life so much harder. I did it! Me and my stupid hands made it through. It's nice to be able to do something on the first try. There's not a lot of examples in this series. Okay, let's see our haul here. So, it's just the spiky balls. I didn't get anything else, which is fine. I wasn't in it for the drops. Hardest part done. Next, we just have to go searching for the goblin tinkerer. For our tinkerer hunt, I am going to dive into the snow biome here. There are a couple items that I want out of snow biome chests. So, you know, two birds, one stone. I researched it and the bound goblin, who will turn into the goblin tinkerer once you save him, can be found in any biome as long as it's the cavern layer. Makes sense to go over here, maybe get some ice skates. And then once I get the tinkerer, I can make some really good boots right off the bat. I mean, I'll still be able to make some good boots. The rocket boots will combine with the uh, dune riders or whatever I choose to use and uh, make a superior boot, but uh, maybe I can make them extra superior. Light, Aziz, light. Apparently I also had a danger sense potion on me, which is good. I'm gonna see those traps. Oh, bound goblin. There he is. Stop destroying my goblin. Oh. Ugh. Shop. Rocket boots. Tinker's workshop. Tool belt. And ruler. I don't know where it's going to go. It's going to go there. I'm surprised at how quickly I found that guy. I thought that would take a little bit longer. Did I get everything from him? Just about. Wow. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back to the base. We're gonna do some accessory combining. And then we're gonna come back out here because I still wanted to check out a chest or two. Goblin army triggered the lantern knight. Nice, very pretty. Put this down. Oh, the tinker is dead. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I can't get through this door because I placed the tinker's workshop right here and it's blocking. But that's okay because I can access the accessories from here. And that's what I wanted to do. The GPS. We can make that. And the fart in a bottle. Oh my god, I've been dying to make that. The Spectre boots. Now, which kind? Probably want to do it with the Hermes. The Dune Riders are special. So let's do it with the Hermes. Of course, we're going to make the Tiger Climbing gear. Now we can combine the Tiger Climbing gear with the Frog's Lake to make... What is this? Frog webbing allows the ability to climb walls, increases jump speed, and allows auto jump. Increases fall resistance. Okay, we're going to make that because I've never made that before. Shark Run Balloon? Increases jump height, allows the holder to double jump. Sure. Pink Horseshoe Balloon can be worn in variety slots, allows the holder to double jump, increases jump height, and negates fall damage. We don't need to do that because we get the wings. So that's the one I might not do. That is cool. Will that go in the... Yes, it will. So we'll put that in the accessories vanity spot just so that we can have it. Put the fart in the jar in here. Got a little space back. Actually, we got a lot of space back. I don't know why I'm complaining. We did pretty good. We need the ruler and we need the tool belt. Once we get the mechanic, she sells a few items and then we can bind them all into like a multi-service tool. A multi-tool, if you will. And do some rearranging. Try to get some of this extra stuff out of here. Got another depth meter when I was grabbing worms. And I got the encumbering stone when I was trying to get demonite ore for the new fishing pole. Uh, 
seems pretty useless until maybe end game so that you don't want to you know clog your inventory with random drops but knowing me i'll never use it because uh i like collecting things oh goblin tech all right there is something else i can make good to see don't want to make the horseshoe balloon not just because i am able to survive great falls from great heights but uh, I might one day want to make the bundle of balloons, and I'm not sure you can do that if one of the items is the balloon with the horseshoe. Let me see. Crafting. Let's see the shark one thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all you can do with the shark run one. If that's all you can do, then I'm gonna do it. Because I'll use, I can use the space. That's fine. Okay, that is gonna replace the bottle was in a bottle replace that with the pink lucky horseshoe balloon thingy gonna replace the boots with the specter boots oh i have another balloon in my inventory i have another balloon in my inventory let's see uh cloud in a balloon blizzard in a balloon let's make that it says that you can make the white horseshoe balloon but then it shows it's not a material so can I make that into a bundle of balloons? I can. With the cloud in the balloon and the sandstorm in a balloon. If I make this, the white horseshoe balloon, I won't be able to make the bundle of balloons. So that is definitely worth knowing. Do I rock two sets of balloons? What's my jump height now? Okay. That's my jump height with one balloon. And if I were to put a second one in my inventory. Oh, it's about the same height. If you check the surface, I go up to 468. Take the balloon out. Still 468, but it might give me a triple jump. So I climb and I jump. But if I have the balloon here, I climb jump jump i don't know if i want the two sets of balloons is there an accessory that would be better that's the question so the frog webbing that lets you climb i don't know how to test this oh it lets you climb down but it doesn't let you climb up cool i guess it is a material though I'm curious what you can make with that. I love this part of the game. Early game when you're seeing what kind of items you can make. The frog gear. Grants the ability to swim, allows the ability to climb walls, increases jump speed, and allows auto jump. And I would need the flipper for that. Don't I have a flipper? But it's not there. Ooh, the aglet. That is part of the next set of boots I'm going to make, I think. The aglet combines with... The anklet of the wind, which combines with the specter boots, which makes lightning boots. And then I would combine that with the ice skates to make the frost spark boots. I could use the armored shark tooth necklace and increase my damage and penetration of armor. I guess that probably just makes it so it negates the uh, enemy's defense. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the armored shark tooth necklace. At least until I can figure out something better. All right, my inventory is sorted. I got my new accessories placed. I think I'm ready to go back to the snow biome. I also got my super jump. Let's see if I can clear this building. Oh, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, a chest. And a skeleton. And a life crystal. Got to be careful going on this thing. Ice boomerang. What is this? Ice mirror. Wow, fancy. Get rid of the recall potion straight away. I don't need that. I'm trying to organize. Jeez, no consideration whatsoever for what I'm trying to do here. Oh, you stupid bat. You stupid bat. Look at what this bat did. Made me summon the guy. 
But it might be okay, because uh, I don't hear the music. Okay, he despawned. Oh my god, stupid bat! <laughs> oh, I'm still cold! I can't move! Ooh. Seagull statue, very nice. Not for that whole chain of events, we might never have found that statue. Gotta look for the positives. I know what that chest is. Oh, this was from very early in the in the series. I died while I was trying to mine a particularly dangerous area with explosives nearby. Why is this area the most dangerous area in the game? Are you kidding me? Ah! You know what they call that? Spraying and praying. Fine, just stay there. And ghosts! And ghosts! I just want to get rid of this stupid chest. Why is this the di most difficult thing I've had to do so far? Jeez. That might be the chest because it's not giving a lot of sparkles. No guarantee. Might as well check it out. Nope. Nope. Just a dart trap and disappointment. Oh, there it is. Okay. More statues. I'm looking for a hard statue in there's a hard statue. Oh, I can't collect it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, those are rare. Nice. Weak ice blade. Not as good as the enchanted sword. Sorry, Ice Bleed. And uh, let's see. Crafting. Take that one bomb, make it so that I don't have to add another bomb to my inventory. Oh, playing like a true pro. Blood Moon. We don't. We don't have time for Blood Moons today. Actually, you know what? I realize there is something we can do. There is something we can do during the Blood Moon. We can try fishing for a Blood Moon enemy. Oh my god. Let me find this chest, and after this chest, we will go try fishing for the Blood Moon enemy. Oh no! Oh no! It's the spiders! Oh my god. I don't know if I'm ready for spiders. I'm gonna open it from below because I'm a coward. Let's see, web slinger, dynamite, again, we're going to just make it, add it to our stack. Okay, nothing amazing, but the web slinger is, uh, it's different. Let's try the mega shark. Oh, that got him. That got him, but good. Oh, why am I fighting? Let's see. Let's take the sonar potion so we'll know what we're fishing for. I'll take a crate potion just for the hell of it. Let's try fishing for this thing. Oh, these eyeballs are going to be a problem. Trying to hide from them. There it is, zombie merman. Okay, we're safe from them over here. Except he's gonna kill my painter! No! Not my painter! Oh, he's killing everybody! Where are you going? Where are you going? No drops? No drops. Okay. That's actually kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to kite him over there and then just... Ugh, okay. 
It's okay, we have another shot. Got an hour left. Ooh! Ooh! Let's put that away. That's one of those one-time consumables. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing here. There we go. Oh, that's funny that we got that. I wasn't even thinking about that item yet. This game you can't plan for anything. Only a few minutes. Come on, zombie. One minute. Next next fishing thing. Ah. So we didn't get the ice skates. That's fine. That's hunky-dory. We still did a lot in this episode. We combined items. We got the specter boots. We got the shark ron and a balloon, which turned into the pink horseshoe and a balloon. We got the heart statue. We got advanced combat techniques. Let's get that out. Increases the defense and strength of all villagers. Contains offensive and defensive fighting techniques. We will not use that item. It's a one-time consumable. We'll use it. We can't use it again. So the next one we fish for, we can use. Oh my god, there's only three of these kind of items, and we already got two of them. Cool. Cool, productive episode. Goblin army, tinkerers. Tinkerer workshops. I'm going to have to find a better place for that. I'm not sure it's going to be next episode, but... Very soon, we're going to have to create a living place for the goblin tinkerer. He's dead right now, I think. I don't know. Yeah, he's dead. He's waiting for a new home. But uh, we're going to create that place for him to live, and then we'll probably put the Tinkerer's Workshop right in that location. Because that'll eventually become a fishing area for us for water items and lava items. I'm thinking a little farther ahead. Yeah, so that's the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Lots of good stuff. The Arms Trader is back. Arms dealer, whatever. <laughs> Take the light. Take the light potion. Actually, before we sign off, we got a traveling merchant. It's worth checking him out. What do you got to offer, buddy? Mystic robe. Ooh, fancy. Two defense, increases magic damage. Uh, worth grabbing just because it's an item we haven't grabbed before. Let me quick stack to get a little bit more space. We'll buy that. And some kind of uh, cosplay. Not sure I want that yet. I'll take the Presserator. It's one of those items that we can use with the Tinkerer's Workshop, I think. Or maybe not. It says... It doesn't say it's a material. But I still want it. Automatically places actuators on placed objects. Cool. And, uh... Grab a couple of these chalices. What do you mean he's arrived? He has nowhere to live! Did he take the painter's spot? Ugh. No, the painter lost his house. This is so sad. Yep, painter lost his house. Oh, buddy. That is a bummer. All right, well, now the painter is homeless until we create that housing for the goblin. All right, and that's the episode. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment. Look at a phone book. You know, check out the yellow pages. I don't think that's been done in about 20 years. It'd be pretty novel. Okay, take it easy. See you later. Bye-bye.